Now beginning square root equations. Remember how this is exactly what we had earlier with the cube root e's. Remember the cube root e's? I had the cube root of x equals 5. Now it's a square root. Well, a square root, I'm not going to cube. I want a square. So, so now, so 5 squared is 25. So here, to get rid of that, I square it. To get rid of the square root, you square it. So, you have, so it's 36. 6 times 6 is 36. Whenever you square root, you multiply, right? So you what? Whenever you square root. Yes, you're multiplying out because that means I have three times three, right? Which is nine, and the other one will be a negative three times negative three, which is positive. Now, the difference between the cubes, the negative three, another negative three would make it that negative twenty-seven, right? Mm -hmm. But a square root, you're not going to have negatives on these because a yeah. negative times negative is a positive. So what that means is, okay, I'll stop that. 